In January 1863, President Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation that freed slaves held in the Confederate States and permitted black men to fight in the Union's armed forces. My name is Ian Rowe, and this is Stories of Courage. Brought to you by the Woodson Center and the New Hampshire Department of Education. Once President Lincoln's proclamation took effect, the Union Army began recruiting black Americans to fight in the Civil War. More than 1,000 black volunteer soldiers had enlisted in the 54th Massachusetts Voluntary Infantry Regiment, commonly known as the 54th. Most volunteers had been born free in the North, but some men were escaped slaves. On May 28th, after the completion of their training, the 54th was given a send-off parade by a crowd of supporters, including Frederick Douglass, a prominent abolitionist. Two of Douglass's own sons, Charles and Lewis, were enlisted in the 54th. After the farewell ceremony, the regiment boarded a ship for Charleston, South Carolina, to fight the famous battle of Fort Wagner. Since the Confederate forces controlled Fort Wagner, the men of the 54th knew that if they were defeated, they would either be enslaved or executed. At around 7.45 p.m., the 54th advanced on Fort Wagner under heavy artillery fire. Outnumbered, the 54th was pinned down by gunfire from Confederate soldiers along the fort's walls. As a final attempt to capture the fort, the 54th charged up to the parapets with fixed bayonets, ready for hand-to-hand -hand combat. After intense fighting, the regiment fell back to provide cover fire for other Union troops. By 10 p.m., the assault was called off and all Union forces retreated. The men of the 54th fought heroically, but one man's courage and patriotism stood above the rest. After the soldier carrying the regiment's colors was killed, William Harvey Kearney picked up the flag and carried it to the parapet. Kearney held the flag up until reinforcements arrived and the 54th was able to retreat. Then Kearney said, boys, I only did my duty. The old flag never touched the ground. Because of his actions, William Harvey Kearney was promoted to the rank of sergeant and became the first Black Medal of Honor recipient. For the men of the 54th, freedom was worth fighting for and dying for. America is forever indebted to the bravery and courage of the 54th.